Hi everyone, hope you are all fine. This is Atik. Welcome to our YouTube channel Engineering Drive. Dear students, in my today's session, let me show you how to create a Java program which will make use of a thread. And I want to display the information about the thread. So which thread I am talking about now? I am talking about the main thread. Main thread is a thread which is created whenever a Java program is written. Whenever a user creates a simple Java program, in every Java program, one thread is created automatically. The name of the thread is the main thread. Now, in this program also, whenever you write class and main method, automatically one thread will be created. So, to display that information, I have made, I have made use of system, system.out.println main thread created. This is the first line I want to display as output now. Is it right? Now, what I am going to do, sir, how to display the information about this thread, sir, this thread, main thread. So, dear students, you need to make use of a class name as thread class, thread and create an object for this class. So, here I have, take create, I have taken the name of the object as t, next, thread dot current thread so see small letter here carefully you remember now here what i am doing here i want to create an object t of which class thread class now which belongs to the current thread here the current thread is nothing but our main thread so we i am talking about the main thread so the information about the main thread i am storing in which object i am storing in the object t now next i want to display this information on the output so system dot out dot print ln of t so i want to display the details of this object t so what is there in the object in what is there in the object t the information about the main thread is there in the object t now let me show you the output first. So, when we execute this, compile and execute this Java program, we will get the output like this. Expected output. So, what is the expected output we will get? First line, main thread created, main thread created. This is the first line we will get output. Next, we are storing the information of, of, of the current thread in the object T and I am displaying the object T. So, I will get the output here. Thread square brackets main comma phi comma main square bracket close. See brackets close. Now you can see here when I display the value of t which is an object t which is containing the information about the present thread that is current thread, main thread. So whenever I display by using system.out.println I will get this output. You know what is this output actually? This output contains three things. How many things? Three things. What are those three things? This is the name of the thread. So, what is the name of our thread which we have created? By default, whenever you write a Java program, one thread is created. The name of the thread is main thread. So, the name of the thread, main. What is this number phi second argument, second parameter? Phi is nothing but the priority of the thread. So, the higher the value, the highest the priority or the preference for the thread. So, phi means the thread is having highest priority. And what is this third argument, sir? This is nothing but thread group name. This is a group name. So, dear students, this is thread group name. This is priority. And this is a thread name. Okay. So, we got the information about which thread now? Main thread we got. Now, you people can ask one question. Sir, can we change the name of our main thread, sir, whether it is possible? Yes, it is possible by using a method name, set name method. So, how to do that also? Let me show that also to you. So, by using the object. See, 
if we want to do any modification to this current that is main thread or current thread we need to make use of this object only so what i am doing here next t dot set name so s small letter n capital letter t dot set name so here in double quotations you give another name for example new thread so i have given one more name instead of main i have changed the name to new thread now by using set name method now after this you display the value system dot out dot print ln of t so when you display the value you know what output you will get this time third line will be the same thread bracket open instead of main you will get this name new thread what you have given new thread comma phi comma main this is the group name so this is what you will get the output so three times we use system dot 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 print align that's why we got three lines as the output so dear students not only we can change the name of the thread even we can change the priority of the thread also by using some methods set priority method will be there so in my next class in my next sessions of my java course i will be discussing with all of you how to create a user defined thread now how we can create a thread by using two methods so those two methods are very very important for your external exams as well as your competitive exams i believe that you people got a clear idea about how a main thread is created and how we can display the details of a main thread so with this let me close my today's session of video see you soon everybody take care allah hafiz